In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator to make the shapes that you'll use for your Paper Shapes photo project. This is, this is an example of the three shapes that I used for my Paper Shape photos. Let's go ahead and look at Illustrator. And um, these are my shapes. So over here in the Layers panel, Layer 1 has three sub-layers, so when I printed these out, all I did was turn the eyeballs uh, icon on and off, and then printed them out one at a time. And it helped me to have the image of Ian Zupku's photos on the side to look at as reference. So what you should do is go to File, New, and select print and letter size. Go ahead and title your project and click create. Now I will go to Google Classroom and in the uh, Paper Shapes assignment, here is this uh, Zupku uh, Sculptures. JPEG, so I'll click on that and then go over here to these options and open in new window. And now I will have access to the download button, so I'll click that and I will direct mine to go to the desktop, which is a temporary um, saving place to save things. And now I will go back to Illustrator and I will go to File, Place, navigate to the desktop and grab my image and click Place. Now I have a cursor with a tiny version of the JPEG. I'll click one time and scroll this over a little bit, move this image to the side and I'll hold down shrink or hold down shift and use the corners to shrink this down. There we go. So now I'm just going to um, look at this. I don't want to copy it exactly. I just want to look at it for inspiration. So I think I'm going to try to create one that's kind of similar to this um, orange one here. And um, the tools that I'm going to use are the shape tools and the um, pin tools then also the uh, selection tool and the direct selection tool. So to start off with, I'm going to use an ellipse tool and um, I'm just gonna leave my colors on a white fill and a black stroke, which are the defaults. So if yours aren't the default colors, you can simply click this um, restore default colors or button here and they'll go back to those colors for you. Now I'll just um, click and drag out an uh, oval and if while I'm drawing, if I hold down the space bar, I can continue to move this around. So I'll put it about right there. Now with the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow, I'm going to click just this anchor point, hold down shift and click this anchor point. Then with the arrow keys, I'm just going to push up and now I'll grab these anchor points down here at the bottom. I clicked on there. Now I'm going to take this handle and pull this out this way, this one out here. To me it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. If they're off a little bit, that, that's alright with me. Um, now, let's see. I think I'm going to uh, modify the top of this by getting the ellipse tool again and drawing an ellipse and I'm going to hold down the space bar so that I can move that around. Now I will use the um, selection tool, the black arrow, and draw a box around both of those to select them. Now I'm going to um, get my pathfinder. So window, it's in alphabetical order, pathfinder. And here we go. And I'll choose the um, second one, which is minus front. So what that does is it just took that little uh, little bite out of the top there. And that, 
that looks pretty interesting. I like that shape. So now I'm going to draw a, a base on this. And I think I'm actually going to continue to use the ellipse tool. So I'll click and drag kind of an oval on the bottom here. But I want um, the bottom to be flat so that it can stand up. So now I'm going to switch the tool to a rectangle and draw a rectangle on here. Use the um, selection tool to get both of those and um, minus front. So now that has a, a flat bottom. And I'll draw a box around all of the shapes and this time select the first button which is unite. Now um, Let's see, I do, I think I'm going to modify the bottom a little bit. So with the direct selection tool, I'm going to grab this and move it out some to make the base a little um, beefier there. Maybe something like that. And, um, I'm going to try, right now this is a, a pointy, I'm going to try making it rounded and to do that I'm going to go to the pen tool and go to the anchor point tool right here and click and drag on that so now it's um, circular or I'm sorry curved. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, there we go and now I'll um, modify it just a little bit until I get kind of a, a unique shape. So there are um, lots of different ways and tools that you can use to um, create your objects. You can simply draw with the pen tool itself. Um, just make shapes like this. So there are many different approaches that you can use to this project and um, make sure that you come up with your uh, three shapes. Then I can turn off the eyeball on this and create another shape and uh, keep going until I have three shapes that I like. And then I will print them out on the um, colored paper or the um, patterned paper. And just make sure that your shapes are about uh, six-ish inches tall. If you make them as tall as the eight and a half by 11 paper, they'll be too big. All right, have fun. That's it for this video.